By now, you have probably heard of Rainbow Friends. Which is a game that needs no introduction. However, for whatever reason, they have recently released their second chapter on June 2nd. Why does this game have to release the same day as the Spider-Verse? So today, I'm gonna see if the second chapter is any better, or it's somehow worse. The game starts you off in the forest, the same place where you ended up in chapter 1. Anyways, there is a little school model that you can go back to play chapter 1, but nah. While that, there's some more cosmetics, everybody's favorite part of the game, am I right? The game starts off with a cutscene of our epic teenage gangsters running away from Blue. Then we come across this unknown character who who may or may not be important to the Lauren story. The old man is trying to break into Odd World, while we try to explain the whole story by using sign language. But he doesn't believe us, so the game begins. Now the gameplay is usually the same by um, just collecting light bolts. However, the math itself is actually pretty cool to be honest. I do like the interaction between the go-karts, the ferris wheel, and the zipline. And while our old gang is back in town, they do have some pretty unique new mechanics. With blue being much faster, purple roaming on his lair, green is usually the same, and um, orange is absent from the game. After firing out the light bolts to get for the SLS light, which looks like a Batman signal, but meh. And after finally realizing that the old man going to our world was a stupid idea, we need to find banisters to power up this drill out of nowhere. We get introduced to a new character named Yellow. This pterodactyl thing knocks you out and he sends you to his nest. And he kills you, I guess. But don't worry. You can get to the bouncy house wherever he picks you up. So yeah, he's basically a non-threat. Also, the design is cool, I guess, so hey. Once we get all the canisters, the drill busted the door, which lead the man unconsciously, which lead the man finding himself in the drop tower with a timer with unrealistically large TNT bombs. Despite the timer moving so slow. Well, I guess this is what happens when your game is filled with nothing but a horrific load of toddlers. <laughs> now, Red needs us to find these things called lookies. These things move around randomly, and you can only pick up one at a time. And you also can't hide in a box which make the lucky run away from you, which finally a little challenge for newbies who always hides in boxes and nothing else whatsoever. And now we want to save the old man, and Red is fine with that I guess, but whatever. And now we need 9 bags of sugar to bake a cake for a giant lucky with a new character named Cyan. Now Cyan's mechanic is Pretty damn interesting, to say the least. She senses your movement while you're in a box, and she's also more faster than blue. But honestly, I didn't understand her mechanic in the first round, and I couldn't care less as I die, so um... That was fun, I guess. So yeah, I had to spend 95 Robux on it to revive myself. And now we give the cake to the Lucky, despite not having a mouth. But whatever, we get to go to the most fun part of the game, the roller coaster. We say goodbye to the old man, but I'm pretty sure none of this matters now since he's not going to be important in a future chapter or so. So um, we can now talk about the roller coaster. Now, this roller coaster sequence is actually kind of cool. Although I feel like there should have been something else like obstacle course while leaning our bodies to dodge with, 
but I digress. It's cool anyways. Well, at the end of the roller coaster scene, we get sent to the garbage section. And we get a chase sequence while some royalty free music is playing. Although it may be copyright. Wow, how original would these mascot horror games be so creative with these chase scenes, am I right? And after getting chased by Siam for a short period of time, the game ends. Oh yeah, and there's like an after credit scene, but it's more lamer than the first one. Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 is an improvement to the first one. Although there isn't really much to say anything about this game, rather than just being a mascot horror game. But hey, at least they're more into the poppy side rather than the Bam Bam side, if you know what I mean. But I'll say this, if you like Rainbow Friends, that's fine. If you don't like Rainbow Friends, that's fine as well. But if you're easily offended by my jokes in general, then um... Sorry.